Hello my Aquariuses and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. I am Debbie. Now we're reading for March 17th, 18th and 19th and we're getting closer and closer to that transitioning energy. Mm. Now I have done an overview, Stay Faithful I think I named it, and I would say take a you know please watch that I go through what's going on in the heavens what's going on I do a reading for what's going on on the earth and I also tell you that these are you know I remind you that these are general readings that may or may not resonate and to take what you like leave the rest we are coming to that phase we are coming to that point where Pluto will transition for three months into your sign you have come out of the you have come out of jail with uh, with Saturn, and it's kind of like, I'm kind of getting this uh, take no prisoner vibe from my Aquarius as well. You know, it's almost like there's a very militant vibe here. Um, I don't know if this is going to be when it all goes really into, you know, Aquarius, or if it's just for this three months, but it's kind of like... You know, no, you're not, you're not, no, no, you're not messing with me this time around. Um, kind of like my Aquarians, you, you're gonna, you're gonna be a very strong match for Pluto. Okay, so let's see what we've got going on here. Let's see, and and, and why I say this is it's starting now. So there is a rebellion, a rebellious energy. There is a pushback energy, and it's. You know, I, I, have, I felt that, you know, for some of the other signs, too, but I'm really feeling it for my Aquariuses. So let's see. Let's see what we have. Holy Spirit, what do you want to say to our Aquariuses? What's going on for our Aquariuses here? One, two, and three. Three cards. Nothing is reversed, and that's okay. So let's see what we've got going for you. First card is... The eight of earth you are very ready for this change you are very ready it's kind of like you know you've gotten your you know if you if this was a change in your job you've gotten all your resume done if this is a change in your move and your where you're living you've got your boxes packed this has a very um you know i am very ready and i am going to be more in control of this than maybe you have felt for a very long time now, eight in itself is unlimited opportunities and possibilities. Earth energy is that Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Remember, Capricorn's handing you Pluto. Or it's really, Capricorn's pushing Pluto to you. It's like, take this. I can't take it anymore. But you will send it back in about three months, and, to, and you'll play a little volleyball with it. And that's okay, because then you will be very, very ready to handle that energy. But it's also we have Venus going into Taurus. So that's a good energy. That's a positive energy. You know, and then we have, of course, we have that Virgo. Now also Uranus is in Taurus, so that's a little unstable. But this is saying, at least for this weekend, as you go into this season and as you go into Aquar into Aries and into the next astrological year, this is really saying, I am ready. I am more ready than I was maybe when Saturn went into Aquarius okay so talks about skilled work is rewarded learning all there is to know about a topic going back to school and again I get the like I said I get this sense that um, take no prisoners take no prisoners and I'm not you know just is just very like you know what you've been through what you've been through with that Saturn it's like we're not we're not doing a repeat and even though Pluto will be there longer it's like no, we're we're not no 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 no. We're I, I feel like Saturn and um, Aquarius. I think that that really got you ready for this. Okay, so let's see. And this is one again. You're ready. You're ready. Next card is the Page of Air. So Page's underlying energy is Earth, like we talked about. Air energy is your energy. Gemini and, and Mars is still in Gemini so there is a big push with that it's kind of like Mars wants you know wants focus Mars wants some big breakout energy with this before it transitions into cancer now it's also Libra it is thought processes thinking through making some plans also hearing some news so the page of air is um, a little bit impulsive the page of air wants to wants to leap before he looks or she looks you know wants to kind of get into the grips 
again, it's kind of like I just want to get this done. I want to get this over with. At the same time, the page of air is, is willing to get his or her hands dirty, okay? And I don't mean that in anything illegal, just ready to scrub things and get things, get things cleaned out, get things, you know, get, push, out, push out what's not needed anymore. So the page of air is logical, honest, impulsive, and curious. Challenging information, delays or change to plans, truth delivered without tact. So like I said, you're ready. You're, it's, a very, it, it's a very kind of um, militant type of energy, not in a bad way. And actually, I do feel for you, my Aquarius, and this is the whole thing when, when this all happened back in 1777. There, this is when it, it just, like, you, you just didn't, it just did major cleaning at that time. And sometimes, you know, remember, sometimes you got to do a lot of disruption in order to put, put things back or put things into their places. Here we go. Next card is the Eight of Water. So we have the Eight again. Unlimited opportunities, possibilities. We have the Water energy. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces energy. A lot of things going on with Pisces. This is, this has, this is the Eight of Cups. This is walking away. This is walking into something. And maybe it's unknown, maybe not quite, but it's like saying, no, I'm leaving this behind and I'm going into something that I, at least, at least this unknown, I can do something with it. I can at least make some of these changes. So there's this, there's this sense of really, I know the eights are really usually very kind energies, very, you know, even the eight of water, you know, leaving something behind, moving into something. I just feel that this, this is like getting your backbone up. This is like getting you into that, into that, um, I, you know, and again, we're not saying that you're going to do anything physical. This just gets you mentally and spiritually prepared for, um, you know, just, going after, going after, I don't know what you're going to go after, but you're just going to do it, okay? This is a desire to move on, the search for something more meaningful, spiritual and emotional growth. So there's, there's this, yeah, you're just ready, you're just ready, and um, yeah, it's, it's, nothing's going to, nothing's going to hold you back this time. Again, I feel like Saturn was your, and maybe we won't have to talk about it for a while, but Saturn was enough for you, and you learned. You learned, you give an inch, take a mile, okay? So let's see what we've got, and I saw a card, I flipped a card in here. So is the card around here? Is it still around here? Ah! Okay, let's do this. Okay, wonderful card. <laughs> That one flipped. Here we are. This one is a 13. We have the 1, New Beginnings, 10, Transition, 3, Celebration, Creation. 1 plus 3 is a 4. Um, that is all about uh, stability, organization, leadership. This is the Transformation card. This goes along with what I've been telling you about. This in the traditional tarot would be the Death card where something has to end in order for something to begin. In this card, it is the same one. It is transformation. But if you look, she's, take, she's taken off the mask. She's taken off the, the gray, whatever is not working for her anymore. And she looks like she's having, you know, she's looking up in the sky. She's looking to the heavens. She's, you know, there's the um, caterpillar. There's the metamorphosis. She looks almost ethereal at this point, you know. So even though she's taken this that's been, you know, that's kind of like the rules and regulations of Saturn, you know, she's taken this off and she, there's a lot of hope. There's a lot of new beginnings, a new transformation. So remember, ev with every ending, there is something, a new beginning. There, it, it doesn't always mean it's easy, but this is, you know, like I said, Saturn prepared you. You know, you're, you're really not looking for easy. I mean, it'd be nice, but you're, you're willing to just get out there again and you're just willing to just push your way forward. So that's a real, it's a big weekend here. Big energetic weekend for you. Okay, let's see. Angels of Abundance. What do we have for our Aquariuses? What would you like to say for our Aquariuses or to our Aquariuses? What do you want to say to our Aquariuses? Here we are. Okay, what do we have? 
Windfall of Abundance. I love this card. I love this. An increase in abundance is arriving in many different forms, some of them unexpected. Be open to receiving, because that's really important, and know that this abundance comes to you to support your life purpose, health, and charitable work. Oh, I love that one. I love that. Like I said, you're ready, and then this is this cushions you. Okay, we are going to do the angel answers, but let's do the crystals and energies first what do we have for our aquariuses yeah this is uh yeah my aquarians you you yeah i i i don't want to be on the opposing side of an aquarian at least for this weekend okay let's go here here you, and you're feeling that aren't you aren't you feeling that push that's the sense of purpose in many ways okay fluorite Personal protection, getting organized, or a cloak, cooperation. Yeah, there's a sense of purpose. There's a sense of direction. There's a sense, this, I know what, I, yeah, there, you may not know what you need to do or what, but it's like, I know. There's a, there's a sense. Anyway, let's see what we've got here. So get ready, ask your question. We got our angels here, angel answers, but remember, don't make life decisions based on this. This is more for fun. Oh, sometimes it's been very on point too. So anyway, let's see. Okay, for Aquariuses, Aquariuses have answer or have questions out there. What kind of an answer do you want to give the Aquarians? What do you have? Okay. The situation will improve. I love that. I she's reaching for the star. The situation will improve. Uh, okay, I like that one. So what do you think, my Aquarius? Is, are, you feeling the, are you feeling the rumbling energies? Okay, anyway, my Aquarius, is, if you would like to support my channel, and I really hope you do, please like, share, subscribe, click on the bell for notifications. I'm also on Rumble, so rumble me there. As always, though, my Aquarius, is, always know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.